Okay, so we, I mean, I've just been seeing it all over YouTube, and yeah, it's quite sad news regarding Randy Orton. Uh, I thought he was, apparently, I don't know, it might, it might not even be true, well, obviously it could be true, but it, things could change, I mean, Injuries could happen at any time in your wrestling career and it could be major. I mean, we had Edge because he had to retire because of his neck injury. And then in 2020, about 10 years later, he returns to the ring and now he's back in the ring again until he retires again. But not because of an injury, because he wants to retire. But Randy Orton has apparently been forced to retire from in-ring action. In the WWE. And why is that sad news? Well, because it's the Apex Bella. It's the Viper. It's the Legend Killer. It's the, he's a 14 time. He's a literally a 14 time world champion. Randy Orton. Who beat John Cena over and over again. He beat Edge. He beat Big Show. He beat Roman Reigns. He beat Seth Rollins. He beat John Moxley. He's beaten practically everyone in the WWE. Apart from, he's been so many good superstars, it's unreal. And he's now retiring due to an injury because of the bloodline. Just because of the bloodline that they did to him back in, what, 2022, wasn't it? Yes. Mid-2022, they attacked him and they physically took him out. And now he's being forced to retire because of his injury. So, well done, bloodline. Congratulations, you just made a man retire from his in-ring action that that he loved doing he loved putting on the show for the fans he loved put on matches for the fans he even loved it but now he's being forced to retire due to the bloodlines injury because okay never mind don't hear that but like and subscribe comment down below what do you think do you think it's emotional i mean i i definitely think it's emotional and yeah i'm filming literally in front of the mirror right now and comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.